I guess I've got quite a lot of stuff in my locker now, and uh, I feel like this is the right distance for me to adjust my mic for now. Because until I get like a desk stand microphone, I don't really have a better option. Because if, if it's too close to my mouth, it's going to, you know, have that horrible echoey sound effect it did in my Eon unboxing. And if it's too far away, it's too quiet. So I feel like this is the appropriate distance. And besides, then I don't hit my mic whenever I, I don't know, go to scratch my face or something. I don't freaking know. Um, regardless, this is a video to kind of show off my locker, I guess. Because, like, I don't really know how much my locker is going to go for. You guys can probably figure out in the comments if you really want to. But item shop today, it's, well... Kind of review on the Mecha Team Leader skin. I'm just going to do this very quickly, but I'll do that. Actually, you know, I'll do that when I get to the skin in my locker. So, uh, yeah. Let's go through outfits first. So, of course, we've got AIM. See, a lot of my locker is Battle Pass, but I do have a few uh, uh, other stuff that I've got. So, yeah. AIM, of course, Season 6 Battle Pass, Secret Skin. You got Blackheart, the Season 8 Battle Pass Tier 1 skin. You got Calamity, it is maxed out. I just have it set to this because it looks a bit more like Joker from Persona 5. Man, honestly, can we get like a Joker skin or at least a way to like. Can we get a skin that looks remotely like Joker? Like, please? Oh yeah, well. Whatever, Calamity Clan, you know. That thing's kind of dead, but eh, whatever. We, we, the three of us, me, Pyro, and Eclipse, we, we, we're still epic gamers, so yeah. Carbides. Got him maxed out during Season 4. Kind of happy that I did. Uh, we'll get to Omega in a minute, though. Sad stories. Uh, Cuddle Team Leader. I believe this was the first ever Epic skin I bought. No. Was it? No, I think this was the second ever Legendary skin I bought from the item shop. Fairly certain it was Cuddle Team Leader. But yeah. Probably like the skin in my locker that stands out the most right now. Then, of course, we've got Dark Vanguard. Made a video on it. Uh with an emote showcase during season 8. Oh, and about that giveaway I did in my Eon unboxing video. Uh, someone has already won the giveaway, so I'm afraid you won't be able to get the code. But the code was actually hidden in the description of my Dark Vanguard emote showcase. That was where the code was hidden. But the code has already been used, I'm afraid. So, yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got Lux. Finally maxed it out. I uh, had to go grind in a lot of arenas for this. Uh, John Wick, obviously two edit styles. You know, kind of got him. I got him when he first came out. I believe I got him day one. Uh, was it day two? It was either day one or day two. Because I remember I had to like... I basically sprinted into uh, my town center just to go get an Xbox Live gift card. Because uh, it was the only possible way for me to actually get John Wick. And that's when we realized he was in the shop for like five days and I wasted my time. <laughs> Either way, we've got Hybrid, uh, you know, Season 8 Battle Pass Tier 1. Uh, Fallen Love Ranger, a lot of people are saying Fallen Love Ranger is quite rare now. So, if that's the case, then yippee I guess. Uh, we got the Eon skin, you know, from my Eon controller bundle. Got the unboxing yesterday. Honestly, I, I think this is one of my favourite skins now, just because of that combo I had with it was amazing. We've got the Enforcer, of course. He's oh, hold on. I think I found a lit combo for the Enforcer. Yay! Okay, well, you know, Season 5 Battle Pass Secret Skin. You got Drift. I have got him maxed out. I just have him set to this so that I can, you know, use this one instead of Summer Drift because I don't like Summer Drift that much, honestly. Also, some of my friends really like this variant. We've got Dyer, probably the worst tier 100 skin in my opinion. Uh, Lynx. Whoa, wait, where the hell is Lynx? There we go. Not maxed out, but eh. Uh, Modern Battlehound, you know, that one thing. No, wait, Lynx is not maxed out? What do you mean? Lynx is maxed out. <laughs> Modern Battlehound and Modern Valkyrie from Lava Legends. You got Oblivion. I think, was this the... No, this wasn't the last legendary skin I bought from the shop. I think that was John Wick. Because I remember getting this, like, Season 8. Kind of, like, mid-Season 8. Okay, Omega, not maxed out, but I have got the helmet, so that's all that matters. I know some people that didn't even get the helmet, so... Hooray. Uh, Ragnarok. Another one of the pretty good, but not the best tier 100 skins. Season 5 Battle Pass. 
Raven, I think, was the third legendary skin I got from the item shop. Um, Red Knight was the first legendary skin I ever got from the item shop. I remember because I really wanted Red Knight when it came back. To the point where I literally begged my parents for money just to get it. <laughs> oh, wow. The Visitor, you know, Season 4, Secret Skin. Prisoner, Season 7, Secret Skin. Ice King, Gold, of course. Season 7, Tier 100. I don't know why people dislike the Ice King. Apparently, it's because he's bulky. I think he's personally one of the better Tier 100 skins we got him. Uh, Singularity, of course, we got the maxed out now. Uh, probably one of my favorite skins at the moment, just because of this Rex style is so incredible. Sentinel. Thing is with Sentinel is it looks horrible while doing emotes. I just ugh. Ruin. It's okay. Rox is great. Probably the best skin we got this battle pass. Rose team leader. Yeah, it's good. Kind of basic though. Valor. Eh. Vendetta. Working on maxing him out. War paint is just bad, honestly. The Zenith is kind of underrated in my opinion. No idea why he didn't show up there. Yeah, Zenith is kind of underrated in my opinion. Battlehawk, eh. He's terrible. Beef Boss, another one of the item shop skins I bought. He's pretty he's he's pretty good. I like him. Bunker Jonesy with the fact that I predicted his God Jesus style. Whatever. He's amazing. I don't really use him though. Cobalt, uh Cobalt's He's probably the worst, uh, you know, starter pack skin we've got. Iconic, probably the best, or one of the best exclusive skins. Uh, you know, flex that scenario if you've got it. Huntress, worst skin in the game in my opinion. Giddy Up, eh. We'll talk about what Giddy Up more in a minute. Uh, he's a meme skin, but Fable, eh. We've got Ember, of course, both styles. Dusk, DJ Yonder. That cursed ranking every battle pass skin video haunts me to this day. How dare I say DJ Ondo was better than Sunstrider? Honestly, I don't know what to believe. Demi, okay. I know this is a very unpopular opinion, but I have this thing against Demi, and I think it's because I think Demi is severely overrated. I really don't like Demi, okay? I d you guys can dislike this video all you want. I do not like Demi, and I am going to stand by my point with that. I don't know why. I think it's because of the hairstyle and skimpy clothing. Yeah, that sounds really bad. But I feel like... I, f I just don't like Demi, okay? There's just something about Demi I don't like. Uh, Jack Gordon. Eh. Jack Gordon's good. Probably one of my rarer skins at the moment. But, you know, I like, I I like Jack Gordon a lot. But Marshmallow, you know, you had to you had to buy him, whether he's good or not, you had to buy Marshmallow. Master Key, definitely, Season 8 Overtime definitely saved this skin. Okay, Mecha Team Leader, here we go. This is where I'm going to have a bit of a rant here. So you see Giddy Up, right? So let me just show you with Giddy Up very quickly. When we're in the lobby, we have the Glitter Up emote. So you can do that with Giddy Up, okay? Whenever you want. But whenever you click on him, he doesn't do it. Mecha Team Leader over here, whenever you hover over them, they are going to do it. Like, you can go on their back bling. Look, oh, look, he's going to do it again. And let's just find an emote. Press F. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, he's going to do it again. Hover over him. Oh, look, he's going to do it again. As soon as you go into the lobby. Oh, wait, he's not actually doing it. But look, you can still do it. He's going to do his emote. Yeah, that's fine. If, he did, if we, it was just that, I'd be fine with it. But no, he's going to do it again. See what I mean? This is the thing I don't like about this skin. No matter where you go in the locker, he is going to do it. And I really dislike that about him. Whew, I dislike this guy. Like, that's the only thing I hate about this skin. No matter where you go, you're gonna see that stupid emote. Anyway, Nightshades, they're okay. Onesie, I feel like the winter style saved the skin as well. It's a good skin without winter style, but the winter style is definitely the more popular one. Peely, you know, it's popular. Everyone loves Peely. Perfect Shadow, another, probably the skin that saved Rising Shadows, which I believe is gone at this point. Was it Rising Shadows or Shadows Rising? I can't remember the title of it. Anyway. Okay, this is the style that saved Sidewinder. Like, without this style, Sidewinder was a dead skin, honestly. Shadow Birds, that's actually looking a pretty neat combo right there. Shadow Scully, you know, from 
Shadows Rising. Sergeant Winter, if you're using Sergeant Winter, just use this version, because, I mean, it's Santa Claus. Rook, at first I thought this was based off Bayonetta. Boy, was I dead wrong. Rogue Agent is, you know, Season 3 starter pack skin. Still available during Season 4 for a while. I bought this during Season 4, I think, just like the first... Like, I think it was the day after I got the Battle Pass. Or was it that I bought this guy and used the V-Bucks from my Season 3 grinding? No, I, th I think I just bought V-Bucks, got the Battle Pass, and then got him shortly after. Regardless, it was either him or Carbide. That was my first skin. I generally can't remember. Red Line, Season 5 Battle Pass. You got Powder, Red Style, amazing. Sledgehammer's pretty air. Squad Leader's pretty air. Stratus' new style is really bad, and it even removes his beard, so eh. Summit Striker, not really feeling it, really. Sunstrider, eh. PTSD! Okay. Technique, uh, I do like Technique, it's probably one of my favourite skins. I used to use it a lot more than I do now, but when I do use it, I appreciate it all a lot more, because I don't abuse the skin anymore. Ace, it's okay. Trog, <laughs> Trog fight good. Demogorgon, this skin's gonna become rare in the future, so I just had to buy it. And besides, that's one of the most, I think that's the second most viewed video on my channel. Uh, like the emote showcase for this guy, so I'll always owe him for that. Oh, Dark Bomber, good skin. Clinical Crosser, also good skin. Breakpoint, skin I'm currently using. It's because I just bought the pack and, like, I don't want to buy a pack purely to just not use the skin. So I just kind of want to use Breakpoint. Then we got Zoe, of course. You got Wingman. You got Wild. You got Vega. All three styles. Laguna. Reflex. Item shop version. I don't have stealth reflex. Uh, Skull Ranger. You got Commando and you got Nightlight. That's all the outfits I own. Let's go into back blings. This is kind of kind of disappointing though because I haven't really got any item shop ones apart from that one. I'm prepared to get PTSD. Whoa, wait. Do I have this skin selected? No. No. That's going to give me PTSD. No. Okay, so, of course, we've got Altitude from Zenith, Assassin Pack from John Wick, Cuddlebow from Cuddle Team Leader, Dark Void from that one skin, Dark Vanguard, Destabilizer from Oblivion, Dying Light, Iron Cage, Ice Mantle, Hot Wing, I don't know why it's so loved, I hate this pack bling. High Caliber, I understand why it's loved, it's actually kind of cool. Gold Token, Frozen Shroud is pretty popular, Fallen Wings, Elim, Molten Crest the Cape, Molten Valkyrie Wings, Mutiny, Offworld Rig, Padlock, Pursuit, Red Shield, Retribution, best combo for Eon. Camo, Bonesy, Bogey Bag, or Boogie Bag, I don't freaking know. Um, Backtracker, Backboard, Wolfpack, Subjugator, Skirmish, Catalyst, Deep Fried, Dodge Up, Tusk Wings, Fabled Cape, Go Bag is a pretty cool one, Goody Bag, the Hamirez skin, oh wait, oof. Pallet pack, night cloak, Hamira skin, sorry, I meant pet. Pets are severe, like, can you just stop making pets at this point, Epic, please? Anyway, Nana Kate, Merry Munchkin, Master Portal, Keo, <laughs> Kibo! If you understand who Kibo is and that reference, then yeah, you're lit. Okay, Jet Set, <laughs> Jet Set Radio, uh, Ice Cube, Perfect Prism, uh, Perfect Wings, Pool Party, Rear guard, reinforced backplate, Remus, Rust Bucket, which is kind of rare now actually, Scales, Woodsy, Waveform, Uplink, Top Notch, Swag Bag, Stark Satchel, Shadow Bird Wings, Scarlet Edge, Banner Cape, Birthday Cake, people are going to be flexing that so much when the challenges drop. Uh, Cobra, Crystal Llama, all styles, the white version, let me show you that, let me go, Diamond, uh, Dark Bag, Little Kev, um, pineapple Strummer, Response Unit, we've got Trail Toe, Quack Pack, Combat Wreath, Standard Issue, Smoothie, and Signal Jammer. Okay, Harvesting Tools. I don't really buy these very often. Dragon's Claw, Flawless, Harmonic Axes, Ice Scepter, Mech Axe, Onslaught, Permafrost, well, Axe, uh, Vox, Thunder Crash, Swag Smasher, Scratch Mark, Scorch Up, Rift Edge, Reckoning, then we got Abominable Axe, the Balloon Axe, Bunker Basher, Crowbar, Dread, Frozen Axe, Gale Force, Guiding Glow, 
Revoker, Reaper, Positron, Marshy Smasher, Lugax, Low and Slow, Lollipopper, Lockpick, Ripe Rippers, Scarlet Scythe, best combo for Iconic by the way in my opinion, Smash Up, Snake Bite, Fork Knife with the edit style, a Knife Fork, because I'm a left handed person so I have to use Knife Fork, uh, then we got Icicle, uh, Lamp, probably one of my favorite pickaxes, Mean Streak from the um, Save the World thing that just came out, Paddywhacker, Rose Glow, one of my favorites, Simple Sledge, and Pickaxe. Let's go into our umbrellas and things. So we got Lava Wing from Lava Legends, Avengers Quinjet. I don't have many things from the Avengers event, honestly. Uh, Arca Arcana. Then you got Ar Arcana, Arcana, I don't freaking know. Booty Boy, Booty Booey, I don't freaking know how to pronounce that word anymore. Conquest, Intrepid. Oh, yikes. Rickety Run Up, Glider, Equalizer. People seem to hate it for some reason. I actually really like Equalizer. Maybe it's because I really like Drop the Base. Anyway, Covered Crusader. We're going on a Crusade. <laughs> Wings of Valor. Turbo Spin. Terminus, probably my favorite glider in the game. Uh, Swarm. Splashdown. Lockstep. Retaliator. Sky Serpent. Sugar Crash. Tactical Slay. Cinder. Crossfire. Cruiser. Scarlet Strike. Also my iconic combo. Uh, Royal Air. Rose Rider. Plunder. Picnic, Field Flyer, wait, yeah, Field Flyer, Downshift, uh, Dark Glyph, probably another one of my favorites, probably just because it's got the cube on it, Tailwind's Twister, Wild Streak, Founder's Glider, Founder's Umbrella, Glider, Holographic, One Shot, Palm Leaf, Paper Parasol, The Umbrella, Webrella, and Wet Paint. That's all the gliders I've got. I did not get a beach umbrella or the snowman umbrella from season 7 and season 5. I just didn't get a win in those seasons. I feel I kind of regret not getting one. So let's go through wraps and then we'll go into emotes. Oh yikes. Ah. Ow. So we've got Cuddle Hearts, Disco, the Durburger Wrap, Festive Paper, Indigo Ice, Magma, Fiend, Driftwood. A lot of people didn't get Fiends because that last challenge was really difficult. Anyway, Dragon Scales, Cursed, Carbon and Gold, Array, Cut, Zemo, Storm Wrap, Gemstone, Power Surge, Right, Shard Break, I bought that to go with Dark Bomber, Sunprint, Tiger Stripes, Tropical Camo, Ultra Red, Grey Toy, Green Toy, Cool Sign Wolf, Cool Sign Skull, Cool Sign Hornet, Cool Sign Falcon, Boogeyman, uh, Blue Metallic, Neon Tropics, Pineapple, Pink Splatter, Scanline, I bought it for Waypoint, uh, Sentinel, and Two Tilted. I don't buy that many wraps, honestly. So F, uh, do I really have to go over sprays, because I don't have any rare sprays or emotes? Eh, I suppose I'll have to at some point. Let's go over dancers first. So we got, bo we've got Boogie Trap Demo, Boogie Down, Breakdown, Cheer Up, Drop the Bass, Electro Shuffle, Flamenco, Free Flow, uh, calculated, True Heart, uh, Star Power, Sign Spinner, Pop Lock, Llama Bell, Hoop Master, Groove Jam, Cat Flip, Cluck Strut, Conga, Krabby, Deep End, Dragon Stance, Electro Swing, uh, Fierce, uh, Keep It Mellow, you know, all three emotes with it, Jump Jets, Go Time, uh, Hype, Hot Marat, The Headbanger, Glitter, Get Funky, Layback Shuffle, probably one of my favorites. Glitter is also probably one of my favorites at the moment. Mic Drop, Nana Nana, uh, Orange Justice, Point It Out, love the Uh Pop Lock, Running Man, Sad Trombone is the best emote in the game. Twist, Tidy, Swipe It, Snooze Fest, Slytherin, Showstopper, Shimmer, Scenario, of course. Uh, You're Awesome, Zany. Uh, Widow's Pirouette, like, the only thing I actually bought from the Marvel event. Um... Can we talk about what just happened? Did my cape just go through my body? Okay, so we've got Airhorn, BCing you from the John Wick event. Gentleman's Dab, Go Go Go, probably the rarest emote in the game for me at the moment. Golf Clap, Slow Clap, Salute, Season 3 Battle Pass, 
just one of my early season three memories along with the victory umbrella and rust bucket respect regal wave prickly pose peace out jubilation hello friend t pose take the elf waterworks yay and devolance Whenever they clap with the default dance, it just happened to clap along with it. Okay, let's go through emoticons. I hate these things. Like, I don't see the point in these. Perfect blend. I don't know why that's a thing. There's so many of these. There's Captain America's Shield, Thor Stormbreaker. Ace is one from Season 4. It's like the free pass challenges, if you remember those. Where, if you don't remember, it, back in Season 4, uh, the free pass owners had their own set of challenges. Like... It wasn't like every week you got three challenges for being in the free pass. No, you only got one week's worth of challenges with the free pass. It was bad. And like the rewards for getting them done was this random emoticon that is actually bad. So yeah, PTSD, haha. <laughs> uh, first, I'm only gonna go over the noteworthy ones here. Press F, of course, everyone's favorite. Fortnite birthday, if you've got that, that's cool. Uh, is there any others? There's got to be more. Oh, surprisingly I don't have enough of these. Which is surprising. Sprays, I feel like I have a crap ton of though. Avengers logo, probably one of the rarer sprays. But I'll go over banners as well in a minute. I don't have that many rare banners. Um, sprays, there aren't very many noteworthy ones apart from these ones, like Season 4. Then you got the Share the Love. I think you have to reach Div 2 to get that. And, uh, you know, Arena. Uh, what's one of the rarest sprays I've got? GG Smiley, Season 4 Battle Pass. Chalk Outline was also Season 4. Hearts, where's Hearts? Uh, there it is, that was Season 4. So yeah, let's go into Music Packs. You got Afterburner. I don't actually want to click on these. Damn it. <laughs> you got Ahoy. Actually no, I need to click on these of course. Coral Chorus, I don't know why this one's so popular. Disco, Eerie, Electrified, Squeaky Clean is a good one from Season 6. Sparkles, everyone has that. It's like the least rare music pack in the game. Sexy Groove, OG Remix, Neo World, Marathon, Justice, Festive, Star Power, and Twist. The only one I don't think I have is that one that goes into the item shop. Get Funky, I think. Let's just get the music back in. Let's go over all my banners. So... In the banner section, I don't really have many to flex, I guess. Apart from, like, the Fallen Love Ranger banner, I guess. Avengers banner. I don't know how you got that one. I don't know where that banner came from. Is it, like, a rare banner? I don't know. Um, I guess this one you can kind of flex, but that's only if you completed every challenge in Season 8. I've only got two of those banners, I think. Season 8 and Season 9 one. I don't know why I don't have the pre previous Season ones got the season 9 version got the monster banner got the mecha banner um any other noteworthy ones season 4 battle pass i used to use chains all the time hero logo villain logo um my my banner which is the cube rune black cube rune is my banner um i guess you've got all those ones not really much of a flex though. There's no flex in the battle royale. You got the founder banners, so you just get those by being save the world. And my special banners, I don't know how you get the gnome one. I have a feeling it's from Frost Knight. I know it's a save the world banner, I just don't know how you get it. This chest banner, I'm pretty sure it, you get by opening chests and crates and save the world. And this storm shield banner, I also don't know how you get. But those are like the three banners that I can flex from Save the World. I just don't know how to use them or where they came from. But yeah, I could just flex Save the World all I wanted by being in Save the World, but you know. And yeah, loading screens, I guess, is the last thing for us to cover for this locker. So, uh, there's loading screens. There's nothing really important. Like, there's nothing really big in the loading screens. Like, at all. Apart from, I don't know, the 100 4 by loading screen, I guess, but that's literally the only thing I can flex via loading screens, so yeah, that's my locker. Uh, if you guys have somehow watched this entire video, uh, I dare you to add up the price of every single thing in this locker, 
and tell me how much my locker is worth in the comments. I I am generally, I am generally, I kind of want to find out. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.